Now, he was not always a fan of the man who now sits in the Oval Office, but all of that has changed now that Bill Clinton is set to headline the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte. That's right, the former president is now playing nice with Team Obama and even appearing in a new ad praising the anointed one. This election, to me, it's about which candidate is more likely to return us to full employment. This is a clear choice. The Republican plan is to cut more taxes on upper income people and go back to deregulation. That's what got us in trouble in the first place. President Obama has a plan to rebuild America from the ground up, investing in innovation, education, and job training. It only works if there is a strong middle class. That's what happened when I was president. We need to keep going with his plan. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. Thank you, Bill, for saving me. Now, by the way, that Bill Clinton is a far uh, cry from the man in 2008 accused Senator Obama of playing the race card against him. Joining me now, former Clinton pollster Bernard Whitman and from townhall.com, Katie Pavlich. Let's go back to Bill and Hillary. Let's trip down memory lane, 2008. I think that they played the race card on me. And we now know from memos from the campaign and everything that they plan to do it all along. So shame on you, Barack Obama. It is time you ran a campaign consistent with your messages in public. That's what I expect from you. Meet me in Ohio. Let's have a debate about your tactics and your behavior in this campaign. They played the race card on me, and according to campaign memos, they plan to do it all along. Well, what happened to Bill Clinton? That's what they've been doing for 30 years, but specifically with uh, the Obama campaign. Look, this is just Bill Clinton is another shiny object for the Democrats to throw out and say, look at Bill Clinton's record during the, the 90s. Well, look, we're in a Barack Obama presidency here, and the fact is that they're throwing Bill, Bill Clinton out because Barack Obama is an embarrassment to the Democratic Party. Bill Clinton is trying to save his party. He's trying to save those blue dog Democrats like those, those coal mine workers in Ohio that were lining up for Mitt Romney. He's trying to get that vote back by putting Bill Clinton is up there anything instead of worse? Him. Let me ask you a question, and I want you to answer it and stop your liberal spin because I know you. Is there anything worse than planning to play the race card on somebody? Is there anything worse than doing that? I don't think, I do not think, first of all, that, I, no, there's not, and I don't think Barack Obama's Pretty planning slimy, to play the right? race card. Sleazy, I, think, I think the president was angry at that time, and I understand why, but here's the, he here are the facts. Times. Here are the facts. <laughs> the facts are, and Bill Clinton told me this when I saw him two weeks ago, and that is, there's a clear choice here. We can go back to failed policies of George W. Bush. You don't see George right, W. Bush. About George you don't Bush. hear George W. Bush in any Romney ads. The reason why Bill Clinton is appearing in a Barack Obama ad is the two men well, share he, a common vision for ad. America of shared prosperity where everybody moves forward, everybody pays Bill their Clinton fair share. Those five trillion as opposed to, as right, opposed so you're to, you're talking points. It's annoying. No, I'm Let's telling you why. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton said, Bill Clinton said, you don't see George Bush in an ad. Listen. Bill Clinton said the tax cuts should be extend, extended because of the poor economy. He disagrees with Barack Obama. Bill On the Clinton middle class. Said, Bill Clinton said, stop attacking Bain. They're a good company. Mm -hmm. Bill Clinton said that Mitt Romney has met the threshold. He can be president. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Now, all of a sudden, he gets the big speaking engagement. Why? To save Barack Obama because he's more popular. Look, you don't see George Bush in an ad because George Bush isn't running for president. Mitt Romney is running for president. And let's talk about the clear choice here. You said Bill Clinton said it to you two weeks ago. He said it in the ad today. What is the choice? President Obama has done nothing but talk about Bain, talk about Mitt Romney's tax returns. He has done nothing to lay out the clear choice of a plan here. And for Bill Clinton to come out and say, well, there's a clear choice, or actually there's not. And Tim Geithner, who was President Obama's Actually, Treasury Secretary, no, said, no. we don't have a plan, we just do not Katie, like let, let's talk. let's talk about tax policy. The tax policy that worked under Bill Clinton created 26 million jobs, had higher Era taxes of on the rich, government is higher over, taxes and on the rich than the they are now. I, would, I think the rich did and very well under Bill Clinton, and it's the same uh, tax policy listening. that Barack Obama Bill Clinton espouses. didn't give us $5 trillion in debt in eight years. Never you know mind what? Obama Bill, in, You in know what? Three. Barack Obama has cut tax Taxes for the middle class by one trillion dollars. One trillion dollars. 160 that was George Bush, million, that was George Bush. 160 million Americans right, have had their taxes cut. Thanks for being with us.